Angel here. You are very welcome to my bedroom where I am chilling with my puppy Jackson. Hello Jackson! <laughs> and my other puppy Bolly. I wanted to do a vlog today about something that is really important to me. So I hope you don't mind because the topic is a little bit serious. Today I wanted to talk about bullying. It's a topic that I feel really seriously about and I wanted to cover it because I feel it's good to start a conversation and it's good to talk about these things because if you keep it to yourself it's only going to get worse and you're going to feel really really bad. And I feel the only way to tackle any issue is to talk it out whether it's with a friend, your mum or dad, whether it's a teacher in school or maybe it's with YouTubers that you really really love in the comment section where you find other people that are going through the same situation as you. I suppose my experience of bullying is mm, one of the more common ones. I got picked on for being a little bit different as a kid. Although I have good English now and I can express myself quite freely, as a child that was not the case because English is not my first language and Ireland is not where I was born. I was born in a teeny tiny country called Moldova, which is in Eastern Europe, and I moved here when I was eight years old. So for the first eight years of my life, I grew up in a rural village surrounded by sheep and cow and pig and horses and chickens and geese and turkeys, and it was the most idyllic country bumpkin lifestyle. I had never really been to a big city before. Um, I kind of ran around without shoes and we traveled in horse and cart and it was like a movie from the olden days actually, but it was a really, really, really cool way of growing up and I felt so free and I loved my life. But then one day my mom and dad came to me and our suitcases were packed and they told me that we were moving to the other side of Europe on a completely different side of the continent where they speak a completely different language where I would know absolutely nobody and nothing would be familiar. So you can imagine how I felt when I left Moldova. I felt really alone and isolated and everything that I knew about my life I had to leave behind including family, friends, pets, my toys, my clothes. All I had were my memories and um, when I came here and I landed in Dublin it was very, very, very hard because everything was different. The city was so different to the countryside, even down to the smells around me. There was so much noise and traffic and pollution. And especially at night time, we lived in an apartment and I couldn't sleep. I would literally stay up all night worrying. When it came to birthday parties, I had nobody to celebrate them with. I started school, I didn't have any friends, I didn't speak the language. I couldn't tell people what was wrong with me when I was ill or when I was hungry and I wanted water. I had a funny accent. Uh, I had all these weird quirks. I celebrated different holidays. I basically stood out like a sore thumb and I became the number one target in my class for being picked on because I couldn't stand up for myself as well, which is, it's hard when you're being bullied in the first place, but it's so much harder when you don't have the language to stand up for yourself or you don't fully understand what they're laughing at you about. Um, so sometimes I would find myself joining in laughter just so that I looked like I could fit in without even realizing that they were laughing at me and I was joining in on the laughter about myself. So yeah, I felt alone, I felt isolated, I felt like there was something wrong with me, I felt like people would never, ever, 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 ever like me. I almost hated going to school, I found everything really, really difficult. For ages I kept it quiet, I didn't want to tell anyone. But I kept my head held high and I spoke to my mom and dad, I spoke to my teachers, I spoke to my friends and I told them that I was having a problem and I made sure to stay strong and to know that I'm not the issue. Because a lot of the time people, when they're picking on you, they actually have troubles of their own and instead of being able to deal with them, they project them onto you. So instead of understanding and going home and talking to their family or trying to figure out what's making them sad, they kind of lash out at other people and try to make them sad and project their sadness onto them. So I feel that's what happened when I was a kid. I was a little bit different and people thought, hey, she's an easy target. Let's poke fun at her. A lot of the time, people pick on other people because they're ignorant and they don't know how to deal with this difference and it's just, I suppose, for them, the easy answer because they want to look cool. But trust me when I say this, bullying or picking someone will never make you look cool. 
ever, period, full stop. Never. Making someone feel bad about themselves and hurting their feelings will not make you a better, cooler person that more people are going to want to hang out with. I suppose the type of bullying that I experienced was very much emotional, but it was also physical at times as well as verbal. And when I mean physical, I have received a couple of shoves in the schoolyard. <laughs> a little boy tried to strangle me with my school tie because we had to wear a uniform. And they really were experiences that pretty much haunted me at night. Because I was able to talk to my parents about it and work through it, it made things seem not as bad as they were. Another thing that I found really helpful was to find things that I was interested in outside of school. So I joined a dancing class, I did Latin and American ballroom dancing, I tried ballet for three weeks and I sucked at it so bad that I had to give up. I tried drama classes once I started speaking English, I tried to swim, I almost drowned so I gave, I gave up swimming. Um, I began reading lots of books, I would go to the library every week and take out like 10 books or as many as I could. I began watching TV shows. Um, I began writing my own stories in English and in Moldova and I found so many other things that I could put my energy into where I, be where I felt kind of at home and included and found a group of friends outside of my classroom that I could be really tight with and had so many more things in common with. I remember being a kid and sometimes feeling like maybe I deserved to be bullied or maybe I was weird and strange and that's why people were picking on me. But I want to make the point that it doesn't matter where you're from, the colour of your skin, what god you believe in, what religion you are, whether you are poor or rich or what clothes you wear or what bands you like or if you have spots or not or if you wear glasses or not or if you wear the latest trainers or if you're wearing trainers from five years ago. If you are being picked on, it is absolutely not your fault. That is so important to remember. I'm here to say that you should be confident in your own skin, embrace your uniqueness, don't try to be like everybody else because being you is what makes you stand out from the crowd. I want you to follow your passions and your dreams. If you have something that you would love to do, write a list. Write your bucket list and your list of goals. I did that since the age of eight and I'm happy to say that some of my major goals, which seemed like crazy ambitious as a kid have actually come true and um, yeah it makes you feel really good when you look back and you're like hey I did that give myself a pat on the back for that one so if you take anything from my story of being picked on and moving from one country to another and having to adapt and kind of immersing myself into this whole new life that was completely alien to me Take the lesson that everything will work out in the end. You are absolutely not alone, no matter what scenario you are in. You just have to find the right group of people that gel with you and have the same interests with you. And as you um, always, always, always express how you're feeling to your friends, your family, your loved ones, your guardians, talk to your pet if you have to, as long as you get your emotions out. Write them down, it's good to keep a diary and uh, it's actually quite fun when you look back in time to see what you were thinking at a certain age or a certain week or a certain period because it's not good to keep problems to yourself. I think that's when things get really, really difficult because you are just one person and you'll be able to handle it for some time but eventually it's going to get to you and you will get incredibly sad and that's just not right. You have such a big support system around you and you should embrace it and let people in to what's going on in your life and be able to express yourself because it's really, really important. Now, some of us are shy and we don't want to talk to other people, but this is why YouTube is so amazing and all these YouTubers that are on here are incredible because they share their stories with you to make you realize that you are absolutely not alone. Another piece of advice is don't take matters into your own hands. Bullies are very complex people and you will never ever ever make it better or help it go away by trying to seek revenge. The best way to make a go away is to talk to somebody who is in a position to help. Do not try and intervene and make things better yourself. And what I mean by that is, if you're getting nasty messages, don't send nasty messages back. You could end up getting in trouble as a, as a result. Don't fight back if you're being hit, or don't instigate a fight. 
walk away. That is always 100% best solution. Similarly, if you are online and you're engaging in a conversation or you're watching a video or you're commenting on something, please, 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 please only ever leave positive comments. If you are thinking something negative or you don't like the way someone looks or the way they sound or what they're wearing or I don't know what the content of the video is, just don't post it. Only write something that is positive and just forget the negative. Keep it to yourself if you have to. Don't put it out there for others to kind of engage with and interact with. Why spread negativity when you can spread positivity? And that's 100% what I'm about. It's also important to remember that oftentimes a bully is picking on someone because they feel really, really rubbish in their own skin and they feel rubbish about themselves and they don't know how to deal with it and that's why they're projecting that negativity onto someone else. And I feel like that's so important to remember. So if you are going through something like this, just please remember that it is absolutely not your fault. The number one thing you should do is talk to somebody. Tell them how you're feeling, what you're experiencing, and what you're going through. Similarly, if you're watching this video, please comment down below and tell me what you're going through because I will happily uh, listen, read, and offer any advice that I can. I feel no matter who you are, it's always important to respect other people. If you are somebody who is watching this and you know that you have picked on other people or that you've made somebody else feel really, really, really bad about themselves, perhaps you can take this as a lesson and decide to turn over a new leaf and a new chapter in your life and not do it again. So this relates to real life bullying, but it also relates to online bullying as well, cyberbullying. If you're reading comments or you're watching something and you see some negativity being spread, please do not engage with it because you don't know how bad that's going to make the person reading it on the other side of the computer. Um, it's going to make them feel really, 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 really bad about themselves. You don't want to be the cause for making somebody cry or have their feelings hurt, trust me. You really don't. I've been the victim of cyberbullying in the past. I've had negative comments written that made me really upset. And to be honest, I'm an adult and I can deal with it and I know that it's just a troll on the other side of the computer screen. But somebody who's a little younger and more vulnerable might take it a bit more seriously and you shouldn't do that. And there's someone trying to get in here, so give me a moment. Now joining me here, I have a headless man <laughs> who has some advice on bullying too because you've been through it yourself, haven't you? Yeah, well, I think... <laughs> Sorry, this is really funny. Why, because I've no hair? It's my boyfriend. But I can't reveal who he is. Right, I think if you're being bullied, the most important thing to do is talk about it. Don't be ashamed. It's not your fault at all. Um, the thing about bullies is they bully people because they have their own insecurities and they're not happy in their own skin mm -hmm. so they take it out on other people and it's very random I mean if you're somebody who's being bullied it's just random I mean the chances are you've nothing to be bullied about they're projecting their bad feelings onto you because you're the first kind of target that they see exactly it's yeah. nothing to do with you um, it's just the bully they're you know, in most cases, they're probably really, really sad and unhappy. And they just bully people. Yeah, they pick on other people to basically make themselves feel better. But I think the one piece of advice that I gave, which I feel is important, is if you're having a really bad time at school or in your after school activities, <laughs> you're bullying me! Um, or your after school activities, it's good to go home to an environment where you surround yourself with things that you love. So whether that's like music or your favorite TV show or books or your family or whatever, right? <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> you surround yourself with Wookiees. No, but seriously, right? Um, yeah, I think, well, the most important thing is to not let it get you down and um, make sure you talk to somebody about it. Um, bullying is a very common thing. And you, you'll find that by talking to somebody, a lot of people have been in that situation where they've been bullied in all walks of life, all ages. How did bullying make you feel like a kid? Because for me, it made me feel really lonely. It made me feel like I that there was something weird with me and that it was my fault. How did it make you feel? Um. Well, for me, it made me feel like an outsider. It made me feel like I was all alone. 
and it made me feel like I had nowhere to turn. Mm. And it made me develop very thick skin. It's also impossible to please everyone, which is why you have to embrace your uniqueness. And the things that make you stand out from the crowd as a kid are gonna things that are gonna stand to you when you're older, because you'll realize actually my bumpy nose makes me really cool. No, don't, don't do that. Oh, I think I think you should leave the room now. No, come back. For someone who's headless, you have great advice. Yeah, I don't have a head. <laughs> I'm the headless man. He's the headless man. Thanks, headless man. <laughs> cheesy. You're very cheesy. And finally, I think it's so important that you show respect to absolutely everyone that you may cross paths with or meet in your day-to-day -day life because you don't know what's going on in someone else's life and I think your mission should be to spread as much happiness, positivity and just good feeling as you can in this world. I don't think it's possible to get on with everybody and that's 100% all right. You're not gonna love everyone you meet or get on with them, but I think despite that, if you are seeing someone being treated badly or in a difficult situation, it should always be on the top of your mind to step in and help if you can. If you see someone being bullied, step in maybe and say, hey, that's not cool, maybe leave them alone. Um, never put yourself in danger, however. Similarly, write to me, post below, comment below, and let me know if this has helped you in any way or if you would like more of these kind of videos. And I will speak to you guys super, super, super soon. Oh, and remember to spread positivity and just ignore negativity the way forward. Bye!